Hey, what's up guys, Mr. Mirzi, and I'm back on Injustice iOS. Now, in this video, um, I thought it was imperative that I would do this one video idea that one of you guys suggested to me. It was basically reviewing the in-game store where you can buy characters and such. Now, before we get into this, um, thank you guys so much for the views and the likes I got on my premiere yesterday on the Midi Moon Flash video. You guys showed immense, rep uh, immense support, so I just want to thank you guys for that. Also... I do sell hacked accounts on Injustice for a very cheap price. So if you guys are interested in my hacked account for Injustice iOS, then contact me on Instagram. My Instagram will be in the description down below. This video is going to be a little boring, just a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be doing any battles. I'm just going to explain, how, like, as a, for a beginner at least, what you're going to be doing in the store mostly, all right? So the first thing we're going to talk about are booster packs. The booster packs are good and terrible at the same time. Here's what we're talking about. These these $20, $10, $5 packs, never buy them. And I'm talking about never. Just never buy them. They're not worth your time. Don't give WB your money because they're overcharging you, all right? So don't do that, all right? Now, there are some packs like the Challenge Booster Pack, which I highly recommend. Um, the Challenge Booster Pack is great. The Gear Locker is also great. And I haven't seen this Booster Pack in a while, but the Arkham pack is also great it's 750,000 credits but it's my favorite booster pack in the game it's like a limited time uh booster pack but if you guys see it on the store save up your money and buy it all right and then the nith metal packs are also great um i wouldn't i would never buy the 200 dollars one buy the 800 one because this has a higher higher drop so just save up your money and then do that all right now the next thing we're going to talk about is the in-game store the in-game store is actually a place of gods, all right? Now, we're going we're gonna to break this section into three parts. So the first part is going to be bronze. Second part will be silver. The third part will be gold. The gold part is a little more intricate. There's a lot of gold characters in the game, but we're going to be specifically talking about the in-game uh, gold characters, not the challenge gold characters. So the bronze character is simple, all right? I think Insurgency Deathstroke is the best bronze character. Um... Maybe. I think he's the best one. Um, I do think uh, Prime the Flash is also great because, believe it or not, all the Flash characters have a glitch where you can just tap twice and then tap twice again. Keep tapping twice. Like, tap, 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 tap. To keep doing that, and you're doing uh, infinite damage. The, the enemy can't uh, block. So, I do think Prime the Flash or Insurgency Deathstroke are probably tie on this one. I think these two characters are great. So yeah, um, as far as we're talking about other gold characters, um, Harley Quinn is a great pick. I would highly recommend Nightwing. He has a fast move set. But other than that, bronze characters are bronze characters. You're not you're not really looking for bronze characters for damage or passives. You just really want a all around solid bronze character because their stats aren't that great. So the their passive needs to be better than their than their stats. So I do think. In Surge, Deathstroke has a great passive, and the Flash is just broken, alright? Now, moving on to the Silver Spots. Now, the Silver Spots, there's a lot to talk about. I think the best Silver character is Regime Green Lantern. Um, this guy just has crazy power. He's kind of like uh, Red Sun Wonder Woman, so I'd highly recommend Regime Green Lantern. Now, you could also do a team with Silver characters. The best team for Silver characters has to be Regime Green Lantern, a regime the flash and then uh insurgency harley quinn insurgency harley quinn is just great so all three of those characters that i just mentioned they do great great synergy so i'd highly recommend those three silver characters now as far as it goes for these other ones they're good but they don't do synergy like some of them do synergy some of them don't like you know cyber right here he only does uh stuff for himself i guess you could say you want characters now this goes for all uh tier characters all right you want characters that are going to do synergy for your whole team all right it doesn't matter all right that's why they have red sun characters now for silver and bronze characters there is no team all right you got to find characters that are going to do synergy and guess what you have characters like regime green lantern that will gain his entire team 25 percent increased power generation you have characters like Regime the Flash, who also does synergy, where he makes his opponents or where he makes his team attack faster. And then um I mostly put Harley Quinn. 
here because of the Tantu Totem. She's killer. Any Harley Quinn is killer with a Tantu Totem. So I'd highly recommend these three characters in your silver spot. As far as it goes for the other silver characters, they're great. They're really not that bad. I do like Deathstroke a lot. Deathstroke is really great as well. Regime Nightwing is highly slept on. I think he's really good. These are characters that mostly do defensive than more attack, but uh, the Joker is also great. Um, but he's mostly like a ride or die kind of character. Like if you're gonna rock him, you gotta make sure he dies so that he's actually useful. And I don't like doing that, all right? So I, I don't think that's worth it. So moving on into our gold list. Now this gold list is going to take a lot of time. You're, you guys already saw how quick the silver and the bronze spots were. The gold is a lot. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff here. So let's just jump into it. Now we have so many gold characters in this one. So look, check it out. That like That's a lot. Now, a lot of talk. We're going to be talking about pricing. We're going to talk about passives. But more importantly, we got to talk about price, all right? A lot of these gold characters are worth a lot. So we're going to talk about that specifically, all right? So this goes without saying, but I think the best gold character in the in-game store is Arkham Origins Batman. It's, it's, it's just facts, all right? This character is crazy good. Arrow Green Arrow is a great card. He's fairly cheap. He's not that bad. He's really not that bad. You could put some... Uh, Ra's al Ghul Scrimitar on him. It's really not a bad. He's really not a bad character at all. But if you guys want to go even cheaper, Animated Harley Quinn is uh, really great too. Uh, she's actually a very great synergy character, but her stats are very bad. So take that as you will. Her stats are very bad, but she she has great synergy. I'm not going to lie. Great synergy. You compare her with the Joker, and she's pretty decent, but her stats are pretty eh. But I think the best cheap gold character you can buy like the best gold character in general is arkham origins batman but the best cheap gold character is new 52 nightwing i think he's the best cheap character you can get now cheap he is 180 182 thousand dollars but he's still pretty good i i think he's great he has i guess you could say a cloak of destiny kind of passive kind of but just scratch the stun chance scratch that and he does so much damage anyway so i think he's a great cheap card if you guys want if you guys want like a great card fast he's incredibly fast he has a great special too you know a great passive and also very solid stats his stats aren't that bad so i think the best cheap gold character is new for two nightwing now this goes without saying but there is another gold character his name is the killing joke joker um this character is weird i don't know what to think of him he's just he's just like the odd one out i guess you could say so here's the thing he cost 60 alliance points right instead of buying him at 60 alliance points you could buy support cards for your characters like check it out if you sort of buy character you can see you can buy health for all your characters better better yet you can buy uh damage for all your characters look at that you can you can you can buy damage for all your characters. So I recommend you guys buy these for alliance credits. Like if you buy everything that costs alliance credits in this in the in the support card store, then you want to buy the Killing Joke Joker. But I'm being honest to God, the Killing Joke Joker is not that great. He's just a eh card. He's like a he's 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 only good when he's dead, and I don't like that. I I really don't like that. So I'd rather spend your money on support cards that cost alliance credits they're they're well worth your buck so make sure you guys do that instead of buying the killing joke joker doomsday um is pretty good like his stats aren't that great but he's his passive is really good you could put his doomsday gear card on him and boom he's a he's just a tank all right you can't take him down he is fairly expensive though there is that man of steel is the best one you're gonna get in the in-game store if we're gonna talk about challenge or online rewards then injustice 2 superman is the best one you're gonna get but in the in-game store man of steel is what you're gonna be rocking all right he has the best passive an amazing passive it's kind of like the tantu totem or um or something like that i don't know yeah kind of like the tantu totem so it's a he's a great card personally for me on my legit account my first gold was insurgency batman and i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie he's great he has um, an amazing passive. It's kind of like the Cloak of Destiny, exactly like it. So you can honestly hook up the Cloak of Destiny and he's killer. But but there are much better gold characters than Insurgency Batman. But if you get him, he's really good. 
Same thing goes for Prime Batman. Great card. But what I recommend you do not get at all, just don't get, is Bane, Regime Black Adam, Teen Titan Cyborg, General Zod, Lobo, Crypto Lex Luthor, uh, Green Lantern Sinestro, Prime Superman, Regime Superman, The Killing Joke Joker, and th that's pretty much it. Just don't buy those gold characters. They're not that great. They're really not that great. But every other character in the game, or, or every other gold character in the store is pretty okay. But that's going to be it. Um, we could talk about uh, support cards. We already did. You, you guys want to make sure you buy the Alliance. You guys want to make sure you spend your Alliance credits in the support card store. Don't buy the Killing Joke Joker. He's not worth it, all right? And then the last section is currencies. Same thing here. Don't waste your money, all right? You can also sell, but we have nothing here. This is a brand new account, so I can't do much on it. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a quick breakdown of the in-game store that I want to talk about because a lot of you suggested it on my Instagram. If you're not following me already, then follow me on my Instagram, all right? But other than that, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, peace, peace, guys.